Good day everyone, a very warm welcome to you. I've just put my uh, name in of a sort of like started at the same time. My name is Nick, we're on the Commodore Amiga. I'm looking at a data disc, Power Manga, the World War One edition, uh, developed by Bullfrog Productions. We're gonna start a new conquest. It's a godlike creation game, published by Electronic Arts in 1991, also come out in the Atari ST. Now basically, it's set in World War One Europe. Uh, you have to go around this map, uh, one territory at a time, trying to capture everything. Um, yes, it's the data disc. The original Power Mongol is set in medieval times, so here we are starting. I'll give you 195 territories. This one is an additional 175. So see what the difference is. I think the gameplay is going to be more or less the same. The generals there are dressed up in World War One regalia rather than the medieval type stuff. It looks quite similar at the moment. Uh, differences are the weapons you create on the original game were bows, swords, uh, boats, I think, and catapults. Here you just got guns and uh, tanks and biplanes if you want to invent them. Uh, yeah, it looks very, very similar to the original game. Uh, I was hoping to say a bit better. Now, the icons around the side there, which you click on, look like they've got a little bit uh, different in design, but basically, there's diplomacy. Um, uh, attack, inventing and various other bits, which we'll come to as the game uh, progresses. But essentially, you see on the left there is the map, underneath is like a scales uh, there, the red arrow pointing upwards. When it's pointing completely towards the medal, that means we've won. Uh, if it points to the white flag, that means we've lost, but we go around the map. Here's our troops here, first of all. So I've got them some food there. Um, there's sheep to kill for extra food, but that's been changed to deer in this data disc. Now, if you had this game back in the day, let me know. I probably won't complete it. It's about how you would have got on the game your first or second go. Now, I love the original Power Mongo, although I didn't uh, complete the thing. I always wanted to see the World War I uh, data disc. I was expecting something a lot different uh, to this. So it's a bit of a cosmetic change. The graphics of the icons around the side are a little bit different, but yeah, it looks exactly the same game. I still feel like I'm in medieval times. I mean, the, the land isn't really that much yeah. developed. So this island, I presume, is somewhere in the Faroe Islands, and we must go and, and take that. Now, when you've got um, further in the game, there'll be a mix of generals. You can send them to different uh, places, create pincer pins movements, and all that sort of stuff. But I'm playing this not expert gameplay, just from the standpoint of your first or uh, second go. Yeah. Right, let's do here. So, Power Manga 1990, the data disc 1991. If you had this data disc back in the day, let me know. Did you complete it? Did you capture the whole of Europe? Uh, there's rain there, that'll affect it. Now, across the top there, you can see some icons. Um, there, uh, I think the blue one is my strength. Brown might be food, I'm not quite sure. Yes, come on, I must defeat this this land, surely. So, by clicking around the map, you can see where your troops are. You can zoom in and out. But at the moment, our troops have got just guns to uh, attack. Here they come. Uh, by clicking on the question mark and clicking on any item, you can get there. Um, so, look, there's some... We've destroyed that town. There's angels going up. They've been killed. So you can see already uh, there the red arrow on the left is pointing to the right. So we've already conquered the land. So if we want to, we can leave this. So it starts off okay. It starts off fairly easy. If you're wondering what the swords are, they haven't been redeveloped on the left of the icons there next to the map. Uh, two um, swords means we're pretty passive, three is aggressive, one is hardly anything, and that dictates how vicious you are in battle. It's all about recruiting more soldiers to your army, so you've got the biggest of Paul. Right. I haven't got enough time to, to build lots of tanks, but uh, we'll see what we can do here. Now, I think it takes absolutely ages. The original um, Power Manga had a sort of like a poke where you can um, invent stuff double quick. Obviously, the better your weapons are, the stronger you are in battle. But eventually, there'll be quite big armies to pursue. Uh, World War I was essentially uh, Germany against everyone else. The original Power Manga, uh, medieval times, was lots of different tribes. So I don't know how it translates here. Sometimes you could do well against one tribe and another one would come in and absolutely kill you. Beep, 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 beep. Yeah, I'm I'm disappointed. Not because the, the disc is bad, it's just it's not different enough from the original game. Uh, Power Manga was a classic, uh, come after Populous, which we reviewed as well. There's quite a few I haven't looked at these godlike games. I think Megalomania is one of them. I think Utopia is another. Uh, I'm not sure if Civilization come out on the Commodore Amiga. It might have been just PC. If you know, then let me know in the comment section uh, below. Now, if you've watched this far into the video, it's all about nostalgia, beating stress. 
Um, if you watched this one video and haven't already, please yeah. consider subscribing because that um, really helps. And if you were in World War One, then uh, comment below as well. So you can eat deer. I'm going to attack this mob. Yeah, so they're dead as well. So I've really conquered this land. The first land is pretty easy. Uh, uh, later on, if you attack too early and you haven't developed enough weapons, you're doomed. When you go on the event icon, uh, there you start chopping down trees to build all your stuff. I don't know how you build a biplane out of a few trees, but anyway. Um, uh, yes, there we go. I'm not sure I can tell you too much about this. So eat food, keep your army happy, defeat everyone else, invent weapons, kill deer for extra food, and um, yeah, rule the land. And I think uh, then you uh, exit. So, you know, by clicking around the map, you'll see the towns. Now, hopefully this works. Retire, and it should should have some uh, game over sequence that I've, I've, I've been victorious. Fingers crossed. Yay, there I am. Well done. You have won the battle. Now go on and, uh, yeah. So you can only um, uh, do land adjacent to the ones you've actually conquered. So we've done, I presume, the Faroe Islands or the Shetlands. There, though, there's, a, there's like a, a sword next to it, so that's conquered. What next? Now we're going into Scotland by the looks of things. That's the only thing that's selectable. Right, there we go. Let's go and capture Aberdeen. I will edit the load times down so you won't have to wait quite as long as I am. I'm quite pleased they didn't do any other data this really because um, I don't think they could have made too much difference. The, so the only changes really are the graphics around the side, the generals at the back, um, yeah, and, and the weapons you create. Other than that, it's identical. It works better as a medieval adventure, I think. Uh, there, but anyway, they, Bullfrog, who developed this and EA, they've extended a bit, a bit like DLCs uh, there. So there's a bit more information. So you don't have to go as quick as I was uh, doing there. There's uh, there's the enemy in Scotland. And there's my crew there, starting up there. So let's yeah. eat some food. I think it went up ever so slightly. Yeah. As soon as you start losing food, the, the people might start losing your army and then you're duffed. Uh, the game ends when your general has been killed. So I'm going to attack this mob here. But I haven't really done enough groundwork, building weapons and all that sort of stuff. So uh, I might be in trouble. Anyway, we've got two swords. Here come the troops. There's going to be a big old battle here. Um, it'll be interesting to see how the biplanes work and tanks. But it's a very small village. There's no major towns at all. Weird. Still feels like medieval, doesn't it, really? Anyway, never mind. Oops, they've given up already. When you give the general um, directions, the enthusiasm, like, yeah, it means he really, it's a really good idea, and yeah, means it's a bad idea. Look, that mob's run off, so really, we need to recruit yeah. them. Look at the scale, well, look at the red arrow, it's pointing to the left, so if we quit now, we would lose. Right, so we captured this town, but there's more towns here, so... It's going to get more difficult, bigger land, and more uh, well-equipped armies to take care of. Now, there is an option, I think, to do a random land, so you don't have to do it in order. If you just want to get a quick go and not build up all the way through this. But it would have proved quite a challenge. Those people into the original Powermonger, who, did the orig who completed the original 195 territories, they wouldn't be too bothered that this is at World War I. They would just see it as more land to, to beat, and it would extend the gameplay a little bit more for them. So in that regard, it was good. So new people wouldn't like it as much as people that already like the original Powermonger, but that is pretty obvious stuff. I've also reviewed, the, uh, well, the original Power Manga come out on the Sega Mega Drive. I'm not sure what else this data disc come out on. I think it was just the Atari ST. If you know, let me know in the comment section below. Never made it to any 8-bit, as far as I can tell, unless someone's done a, a quick conversion. So it is just in 16-bit land. You can hear that breathing. That's the, it's the uh, how healthy your general is. Uh, those bars at the top there look a little bit low. So I think you can build boats to cross over to different territories here. Uh, my general looks a bit evil. I don't know what part I'm playing. It, uh, it looks like maybe one of the uh, well, the Nazi Germany ones. Yeah. But, okay, so you know when you've got lots of generals, I think you get a maximum of five generals around the map. And when it gets to that stage, you know you're in pretty big doo-doo. Right, okay. So this won't be a super duper uber long review. I've pretty much shown you all of it. I haven't shown you all the uh, icons, but basically they're collecting food, uh, recruiting troops. 
uh, inventing and then equip your invention on the bottom left or bottom right I should say there's there's a bit there we can send an individual general somewhere else on a uh, mission just uh, there's diplomacy home and uh, yeah the question mark and st and trade as well that's that coin on the uh, left there so you could get quite engrossed uh, in this game uh, can sort of like involve you when you start learning the tactics but you need sort of like skills like pincer movements as I say getting new weapons what's yeah. going on here I've been uh, I'm in a battle I've, I, I'm losing track now of what I'm doing so this is the second land I don't think you can do what I'm doing just just go and attacking stuff without any uh, any full fault there goes someone that's died they're flying up to heaven all done them right I've won anyway uh, so the arrow is a little bit up further up now. Don't want any of your army to leave you. So this is World War One, 1914. Where's all the towns? I don't know. Where's all the roads? There's no roads at all. What's up? What's up with Aberdeen? If you're from Aberdeen, then comment below. Where's the roads gone in 1914? Did you hide them? Maybe you packed them away in that box. It's down. Let, let, let's face it. This is medieval England again, isn't it? We're just with a, a, a brief, a brief overskin. Not sure how long this would have taken to do. I don't suppose that long. They're using the same. They're using the same engine anyway. Power Monger is a game I would have loved to complete uh, back in the day. It just got, just got too difficult for my brain, even with the, uh, the, the cheat to invent stuff quicker. You need lots of catapults. You need to kill lots of sheep. And yes, buff. If you got really skillful at this game, you'd probably be laughing at me because you would zip through. But dodgy gameplay, nonsense chat. A huge thank you to the members as well. Uh, the members know that it's all about beating uh, stress there. Uh, if you want to be a member, then click on the join button below. I try and give you as much content as I possibly can. Um, sometimes it's quite tricky, but it is, regardless of the things I can't do, it is a rather active channel. Good. Uh, bib, 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 bib. Yeah. Let's attack this house. Um, I don't know who owns the house. I should, I should have done. I should have done the uh, um, a question mark thing. See, it's even got the same sound in the background. It's like crickets or something. They probably survived from medieval times as well. Here come the lads. There's my army so far. So eventually, you can make absolutely huge, huge armies as we camp around this person's barn. That's how the World War One was uh, won. A group of lads uh, camp around someone's barn. Uh, going across Europe, gradually getting bigger and bigger. I, I don't think it is, is it? They originally got homegrown troops, uh, call-ups and all that sort of stuff. We didn't go from town to town recruiting people to be in the army. So, and that, oh look, there's a, there's a medic tent there. So in that respect, the thing don't work. I don't want to attack a medic tent. Oh, let's attack it. This is going to be bad juju. Who would attack a medical tent? I don't know. Me. It's raining. I think when it rains, it slows down your troops' uh, um, movement uh, across the uh, terrain, so you can't do quite as much. It's it's one of those godlike games, isn't it? Put your favourite god game below. It might be Populous. It might be Power Monger. It might be one of those other ones I haven't reviewed yet that I, that I mentioned. Utopia, Megalomania. Here we go. Is that me dying or them dying? Oh god, so see, look at my red arrow, it's pointing up now, so I'm gradually doing okay, but my, my troops are thinning out, there's a lot of dead bodies there, oh look, there's another there's another bunch of lads parked around here, let's shoot them. Yeah, I think they outnumber us, this could be, this could be Bobber, what's that? Anyway, here we go, this is a dead fire, what, in the middle of a river? No wonder it's dead. All oh, right, okay. The river died because it was in the middle of uh, of uh, yeah. The fire died because it's in the middle of a river. Right, here we go. I think I'm outnumbered here. Oh, here they come. What's that? Have they retired? Uh, come on, lads. Hopefully we win this battle. Uh, oh god, this looks bad. I think they're legging it. Sometimes they don't always. We, we should have. What we should have done instead of attacking these, we should have done some kind of deal. Uh, where um, we, we joined forces, but we didn't, like, like a bunch of nincompoops. So you can, you can do a deal, oh, my breathing's getting more laboured, I think I've died. You can do a deal, and then um, undo the deal when your, your troops are bigger. I think, I've, yeah, there we go. So I, I was a bit stupid, I've been blown up. Uh, kaboom! 
Anyway, hope you liked having a look at that one. Um, as I say, it was okay. It gives you a good extra data disc for those people who already completed Power Monger, but for me, it doesn't really offer enough much uh, with his World War One skin. So it's, it's more Power Monger, really, regardless of the theme. So yeah, hope you like looking at that one. That was Power Monger World War One Edition, uh, published by Electronic Arts in 1991. Got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro? Then please put that below. You're always more than welcome. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.